Good morning, brothers and sisters. Romans 5.20 says, Where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. God will lavish grace upon sinners who are truly repentant. Do you ever sin so terribly that you felt, I really blew it this time? There's no way God would want to forgive me now. It's easy sometimes to let our past sins be a constant burden to us, even after we've confessed and repented. Paul has comfort for those who feel this way, and that comfort is founded on the power and measure of God's grace to us. Before his conversion, Paul, then known as Saul, persecuted the church. He was a blasphemer and a persecutor and a violent aggressor. If anyone could be beyond grace, it was Paul. But God intervened and saved him. Why? For this reason, Paul says, I found mercy in order that in me, as the foremost sinner, Jesus Christ might demonstrate his perfect patience as an example for those who would believe in him for eternal life. If God would forgive Paul, he will forgive anyone who will confess their sins and repent. If he would show abundant grace to a violent unbeliever, he will also shower grace upon his children. God is not stingy with his grace. Paul celebrates God's saving grace, which he freely bestowed on us, Ephesians 1.6, and the riches of his grace, which he lavished upon us. Speaking of sustaining grace, Paul says, God is able to make all grace abound to you, that always, having all sufficiency in everything, you may have an abundance for every good deed, 2 Corinthians 9.8. Notice the words Paul uses, all grace, abound, all sufficiency, everything, and abundance. Every good deed. God's grace is inexhaustible and is given so freely that words cannot express it fully. Great sins require great grace, but God will give super abundant grace to those who seek forgiveness. For where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. Romans 5.20 Don't let your past sins weigh you down. Learn to rest upon God's super abundant grace. Maranatha.